everyone! Bienvenidos a Rincón de Carmen! Welcome to Carmen's Corner! Brought to you by Pacers National Bullying Prevention Center. I'm Carmen, and today we're going to talk about advocacy. Advocacy means speaking up for yourself and for others. Mira. That must be our word of the day. Today's word is coraje, which means courage in Spanish. A veces necesitamos coraje para hacer ciertas cosas. Sometimes we need courage to do certain things. ¿Cómo demuestras tú el coraje? How do you show courage? ¡Qué bien! Speaking up for yourself and for others isn't always easy. So it's good to start by talking to someone you trust, such as a relative, a teacher, or a school counselor. For some great ways kids are speaking up for themselves, let's go to my friend Sally. Hola, Sally. Hi, friends. I'm Sally. And this is Weekday Update. Here are some wonderful ways that kids, just like you, are reaching out to adults to ask for what they need. Hey, Coach Kyla, I think I hurt Ellie's feelings. I didn't mean to, and I don't know what to say to make it better. Can you help me? Aunt Laura, my friend Thomas keeps making fun of the way I talk. He says he's just joking, but I really don't like it. What can I do? Hey, Dad, there's a game I want to join, but the other kids never let me in. They say I can't play because I don't learn fast enough. What should I do? Way to go, friends. That's the first step. It's important to know what you're good at and to learn what you need help with. Asking for help when you need it is called self-advocacy. Remember, you know yourself better than anyone does. So, be brave and speak up. Muchas gracias. Thanks for sharing, Sally. And now, it's time for a quick game of Sabes Que? With my good friend, and game show host with the most, Miguel. Thanks, Carmen. Hi, friends. I'm Miguel, and welcome to today's edition of Sabes Que? You know what? Part of advocacy is knowing when to say something. Do you know the difference between tattling and telling? Let's play to find out. Round one. Christina accidentally spills her juice on the table and gets Bo wet. Christina says sorry and offers to clean it up. But Bo runs to his mom to say it was Christina's fault. Did Bo tell or tattle? If you said tattle, that's correct. Bo said something just to get Christina in trouble. It was an accident. Christina apologized and no one got hurt. Let's try another. Round two. Isabel asks a couple girls if she can sit with them, but they tell her she doesn't belong and laugh. Isabel sits by herself and cries. Mia has seen these girls be mean to Isabel before, so Mia decides to let an adult know what's going on. Did Mia tell or tattle? If you said tell, 
That's correct. Mia saw Isabel being bullied and wanted to help. Most bullying won't stop until a caring adult gets involved. So it's really important to talk to an adult if you see bullying. Bonus round! Today's big question on Sabes que? What's the difference between telling and tattling? You guessed it! Tattling is done just to get someone in trouble. Telling is done to get help or protect someone. Ahora sabes. Now you know. Thanks for playing, friends. De nada. You're welcome, Miguel. Remember, kids, if you have questions about advocacy, bullying, or anything else we talk about on the show, you can send them to me at askcarmen at pacer.org. I'll do my best to answer your questions either by email or on our next episode. And now it's time for a brain break. <laughs> 